Hey and welcome, I'm Solo and this is ZN Gaming. In this video, I'll be going over how to stream to Discord with OBS. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, so you're looking to stream on Discord, but you don't actually want to stream all your desktop icons and all the other things in your background that might be running, popping up, or you happen to be in a call that maybe is important and you don't want them to see your free background type stuff. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to do that step by step. To do this, we can use a program called OBS. It's free and open source. If you're streaming, you've already probably been using it. In this example, we're going to use OBS to be able to stream it to your Discord. Now you can in OBS just share your desktop as is. If you're in any call, if you join it, for me, I'm just gonna go into the playing. And after you're in here, you'll be able to go onto the share your screen. And from here, it's just gonna have your application or your entire screen. And from here again, you can just share your entire screen if you're playing a game. And this will just be fine for some. But if you actually want to uh, share the game you're playing without sharing your other stuff, we're gonna need to do that in OBS. So we're just gonna stop this here. We're gonna disconnect the call and we're gonna open up OBS. Now, the first thing you're gonna need to do in OBS is make sure that you have a scene set up. For me, I stream, so this is gonna be already set up for me. And I'm gonna have a Windows capture, capturing my game, so that when I'm streaming to my Discord or other services, it's only going to have my game and if that there goes away there's going to be nothing behind it so if you're not playing your game or you happen to move your game or turn it off it'll just go to a black screen instead of showing your background this is going to be good for privacy or anything else besides calls or streaming in discord if you happen to be playing the game to do this though the first step that we're going to do is we're going to need to start the virtual cam this is very important in obs just to click the start virtual cam now this is going to make all of your scenes and everything as is a virtual cam. So if you happen to have things like alerts and stuff turned on for, uh, let's say YouTube or Twitch, if anything happens, they are still going to work on your stream inside of Discord. If you want to stream to Discord, Twitch, and YouTube at the same time, it's very possible. All you'll need to do is turn on the virtual cam. And when we go back over here, we'll just click here, join the call. When we share our screen, we're gonna be able to go over to devices and it's going to show the OBS virtual cam. And when we click share, it's gonna show us here what we're sharing. And as you can see, it's going to be the game. And if I go over here and close the game, it's just gonna show my webcam, which is behind my game. And that's it, it's not gonna show my desktop. I think this here is a good option if you happen to want a private stream, or if you don't want the things in your background, your notifications and other things popping up while you're streaming to, while you're streaming to Discord. But that's as easy as it is. And you'll be able to make any changes in here as you want. I had the camera. So now I have it on top. So if I happen to have a camera, I can have that added as well. And all I'll need to do is just edit it in the scene and it's gonna show up in real time on OBS. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, bye.